guys welcome to the channel this is lady b if it's the first time make sure you hit the like button share and subscribe right about now i'm doing a meal and i already needed the flour but what i'm using is oats and regular counter flour so what i did i added just um about a cup of oats and a half cup of flour and this is the oats that i blended i will show you in another video how i did it but what i did i blended the oats in the vitamix yes man the vitamix i blend the oats in the vitamix so after kneading the flour this is what it looks like so this is oats and a little bit of flour just to keep the texture the first time i make oats dumpling i didn't like it because it was a bit too hard so i'm trying it now i just added a little bit of flour so i added one cup of flour no half cup of flour and one cup of oats half cup of flour one cup of oats yes so <clears throat> add that a guan from what a guan right so with this oats flour i'm also gonna add some green banana in the pot I'm going to add some green banana. And I don't have any potato. Well, I have yellow potato. I can probably add a few, but I probably not eat. I may not eat the yellow potato, but I may just add the yellow potato in the pot as well.
once again I'm making oats flour. I'm using old fashioned oats and all purpose flour. I'm putting them away. Let me put the oats right here. And this is the rest of the oats. I'm going to put it up for some or to make something else. Probably I combine it with cornmeal and make oats and cornmeal porridge. So right about now, the pots are bubble up. As I am preparing the so the way I do my banana, I just cut off the two ends, cut it, and rock it in the pot. So the two ends of this is cut off. I'm cutting it like this. Then I'm going to cut it like this so this the peel can come off easily when it cooks. Some people peel the banana but because I don't want it to mash up it's a mash up too quick I'm not peeling it. Because banana easy to mash up when you put it out of the skin. And then we don't know what type of banana it is. If I did Jamaica with us, say, yeah, man, the banana we easy to mash up. Or I did tough banana this. But when you buy a banana here, you don't know what type it is. So you just peel, you put the whole of them in the same way. Do not peel off the skin. Additionally, I'm going to add two pieces of potato, four pieces of potato in the pot. So, I'm adding potato. So, if who don't want the banana, then we eat potato. And I say, oh, no, no. I added some olive oil to the pot to help the balloon banana with the alkalinity. So water don't get black too quick. Too black too quick. Alright. So right here in this Dutch pot. Let me use my left hand. It probably hard for you guys to see in there. But I'm doing. I'm sauteing the onion. And the garlic. And I'm adding a piece of ginger. Then I'm gonna add some colored peppers. Pepper. But right about now, this is almost ready. See? That is almost ready. Because if you notice, the dumpling them are float pan top. So that's one way to know if your dumpling is cooked. It's going to be floating on top of the water. I'll be adding some pepper, bell pepper. See how in the look there? You still need some red pepper to in now, but I don't have none. I'm gonna add a little seasoning and a 
twist the sock. And make it go on far down. I'm gonna add a little bit more oil because when I add in the salt fish, I'm gonna need to have a little bit of oil in that area. Oopsie, I'll get wet. So it's a tiny amount of salt fish, see there? A tiny bit, but you don't know. Back home down that side the watchman. So make this day fry down a little bit and I'm now going to add the soft fish over this side. So I'm not gonna mix them together right now like this. The seasoning is a bit too much for this salt fish, so I'm gonna take some out because I will be doing some spinach. So I can add this to my spinach. So I took some of it because I didn't realize it was such a little bit of salt fish brother. I didn't realize it was such a little bit of salt fish. Then I'm going to add a little bit of water. And cover it up, make it simmer down. I probably add a little ketchup in there since I didn't have any tomato. But before I do that, I'm gonna let it put down first. Meanwhile, over here, so the pot of bubble. So I'm gonna cover this and simmer right down, okay? This now is for my spinach that I will be cooking. The oil is a bit too much, but it's okay. I'm gonna add this seasoning that I took from out of the sausage. So this is what's up and because there was already some water in in it when I washed it I'm just gonna turn the stove down very low and let it steam Yes, guys, Wagwan, we just don't cook and I'm going to consume this meal. This is what the meal look like, guys, and I'm gonna go ahead and indulge. If you look at it, you have fried plantains, avocado, and that's my oatmeal with flour dumplings. I call it oatmeal dumpling. 
some sawfish, some brown stew chicken, one finger banana, and some spinach right there. So yes, guys, this is it. I'm going to devour this delicious meal. I haven't eaten like this in a while, so don't think that for your meal, I'll provide me, I'll forget to pray. I'm glad I'll for your grace and mercy. This dumpling tastes real good. Oh, you can chew up the ginger now. It tastes very, very delicious. When it has some of it, it's a real Jamaican cooking. Mm -hmm. When was the last time you eat some real Jamaican cooking? Type it in the chat, let me know. So this is wild banana. Wild banana. Is it all a wild green banana? Just in case we need some more food. So yes, guys, I'm having some real Jamaican food. One thing with this dumpling though, it kind of tight. Like a virgin dumpling this month. So this is what inside of it looks like. It's oatmeal with a little bit of flour. I love to eat dumpling on pier. Mm. We can't eat half this enough. Now that's sure that we can't eat half but we can't eat half this. So this afternoon I came home and I decided to do a quick part. So I, you know, sat down and need some oatmeal flour. That was, as was in the video. I did have some planting on my back from Walmart, my fry top. Um, the saltfish, me buy it, um, but maybe a week and a half ago. So I go ahead and make boil it. It did boil off from yesterday, but I did not get a chance to make it. Mm hmm Can I stop this now? This tastes real delicious, guys. But I can't clean the plate at all. So far, me eat one dumpling.
I'm going to eat off one finger banana. So how was everybody's day today? You know it's bad man has to eat on top. <laughs> So guys, I'm going to wrap up this. Because when we can't eat this off with you. Mmm, it is so delicious. I mean, I like to chew my food fine, 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 fine. I like to chew my food real fine. So this would take a long while before we finish it. Well, guys, we still have half of the plate of food leave. Let me know what you guys think about the video. Let me know what you guys think about the food. If that's something you're not going to try. Alright, the oatmeal. Oatmeal is very good for your body. Very good for the stomach. And I mix it with the flour so it's not really dry. The last time I made oatmeal, I did not add anything to it. And it was kind of dry. But this give it, the flour give it some little, um, you know, glimity, glimity. <laughs> Mm. That's the banana I'm just eat. And this is avocado. This didn't need a dash of salt, but this man we got that talent and my pressure eyes, so I'm gonna add no salt to it. And I boil out every salt out of the saltfish, guys. The whole of the salt boil out of the saltfish. So, as I said, may I stop right here, so. Because it's gonna take me all night to eat. So if you like this video, just go ahead, hit the like button, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you have not yet subscribed, if you have subscribed, make sure your notification bell is hit. So you'll be notified whenever I go live again, or whenever I have a video up there. Also, share this video to one or two people now. Let them see what it's like to have some real Jamaican food in front of them. Let me know what you guys think about this video in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.